Hey lovies, it's Tanika and welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. Like, share, and comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video, what you like and dislike. Okay, today we're having McDonald's, um, two breakfast burritos, and a fruit parfait and a sweet tea. I supposed to have a hash brown, but they forgot. Of course. I mean, we're talking about McDonald's. They forget at times, so it is what it is. But I will be getting something back considering they did forget my hash brown. I'll probably get me another sweet tea and I'm going to go back and let them know. Um, but like I said, I have a fruit parfait, which I had thought about it after I looked at it. Like, look at the size of this. This is so small. Like, this is not supposed to be this small. They went up on the price, first of all. And secondly, they made it smaller. This parfait used to be bigger than this. It's not. It's smaller. So you go up on the price and then you make the purchase even smaller. That's backwards. Now if you're going to go up on the price, you could at least kept the sides the same. But you didn't. And I have a problem with that. I like my parfaits. And I have two burritos. Which I'm going to have to eat without the hash brown, like I said, considering they forgot about it. And then, I opened up one. And look how small it is. Like, oh, that's because I had opened it up. You see the little packet. I made a mess of myself as well because I had tried to eat it, but um, ended up wasting some of the sauce on my pants. And somehow got the sauce squeezed on my jeans so I had to clean myself up and then I turned around and looked like I wet myself from doing so I had just got finished doing a um, drop off from doing Uber Eats and I happened to still have my you know my app on when I was at McDonald's Hoping that I could pick up my food first and before you know anything came in, but something came in during the process, which I was at the end of it anyway, just getting my food when something came through. So I just dropped off my order. Now I'm gonna sit here and eat this food. You might hear the motion of the engine, I'm not sure, because I have my car on. It's hot, y'all. My thermometer in my car says 89 degrees. That's hot. I'm going to try to do one more pickup. Maybe. I don't know. Because um, I had to pick up my daughter from school at 11.25. So, I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how fast I finish this and get another pickup if I don't get another pickup within a certain amount of time I'm just going to cut it off because well after I um cut it back on because right now it's off so I can enjoy my food record and everything then I'll cut it back on So I just pulled over a little from where I dropped my order off. So that I can do this video. Once again, schools are closing early due to the heat and the school not having any air which is messing me up because I have intentions on doing Uber but then I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing pick up my daughter 
And I'm going to see. I'm going to drop her off at my mom's. Let her stay with her for a while. While I do some Uber. Because I don't want her out in this heat too much. Because... Normally, I'm not going to have my air on the whole entire time. I'm going to more likely cut the air off, put my windows down, deal with the heat as much as I can, and then cut it back on when I can't deal with it any longer. And keep doing my Uber. Because I need to make some money. Sister is short of cash. Even when you have cash, you don't have cash. You understand what I'm saying. And then all I get is bluebirds. What happened to the strawberries and the bluebirds? I didn't ask for a blueberry parfait. I asked for a fruit parfait. Which is supposed to have more than just blueberries in it. McDonald's you have to get on your staff to get on there. Get on point. trying to make sure I don't get anything on my clothes. I don't need to make another mess. I might have to go home and change my clothes. At least my pants anyway. It's crazy because so far I've only picked up from THB Bagel Restaurant. So my armrest, I don't know how I did that. That's from the first first time I opened up my um burrito. And I must have did something and it squirted all over the place. These burritos are so small. It's funny because it depends on the location you go to determine how good your bagel will look and how good it's going to taste. I don't know about y'all, but I have to at least have four packs of mild sauce when I'm eating my burritos. If I'm eating one burrito, two packs, basically it's two packs for each burrito. I can't do just one pack. It's not enough. over here by some company. This little parfait. Look at how small this is. 
Now, anybody know who gets a parfait? No, parfaits used to be bigger than this. It seemed like everything costs more and the item gets smaller. Even the Snickers. I was at the market the other day and picked up a Snickers bar. And it was so small. And I'm like, I do not remember Snickers being this small. It's like they're making everything smaller now. I mean, they're really making it small. It's funny because it's like when you think about what your parents would talk about, you know, how things were back in their day when they were younger. How the snicker, like the candy bars used to be so big. And so cheap. Now they done gotten half the size that they were. And the price has gone up. Hold it up so you can see it. <clears throat> Everyone. went out to Cinebistro. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, had dinner in a movie with my husband. Really enjoyed myself. Went to see Equalizer 2. Which was really, really good. It's like Denzel is like fine wine. He just gets better with time. It's like as he age, he just gets better and better and better. The movie was great. I ain't gonna say good. It was great. I loved it. Loved the movie. Would love to see it again. Enjoyed a nice meal. If you never been to Cine Bistro, it's a movie theater and restaurant. It's like. You know, you can order your food and everything. They seat you a half an hour before, you know, the premieres actually start showing. So you can, you know, get your food, enjoy your food before it, you know, or as it's starting. So that, um, you know, you're not interrupted with the waiter or waitress bringing your food. Luckily for me and my husband, we went on a Tuesday, which is our an, uh, anniversary, and um, they had like specials, so we got that, which we both had a three-course meal, basically, salad, entree, and dessert, and a drink to come with it, for a reasonable price, beats going to a regular movie theater. Where if you actually order something from there, you're going to pay double the amount. Well, actually, you're going to pay the amount that we pay for two meals, a three-course meal, for less. You're going to spend more but get less than what we got. So, it was very much worth it. You have to go. Check it out. I really, really enjoyed myself. And I'm definitely going to do it again. I've been before, but... Um, I didn't order any food. I don't think I didn't order any food. <laughs> Just had popcorn and a drink. That was it. But next time I'm taking my daughter, let her see a movie. 
let her enjoy having a meal, watch a movie, and enjoy herself. But I'm, I might have to take a throw with me because it was like really cold in there. I had a jacket with me. But yeah, you might need to throw with something to take with you because it's like really cold inside. At least where I was, it was cold. So, yeah, you have to go check it out. Considering the time it is now, I'm not going to be able to cut my Uber app back on. I'm going to have to wait until I pick my daughter up first, drop her off, and then start back up. I don't know how much I really wanted that hash brown. I just messed my meal up. Like, the meal's still good, but you know how you have a taste for certain things and you like them together? I can't stand when I can't have what I have the taste for together like I want it. It's like it throws your whole meal off. But depending on how bad I want it, I have a taste for it. If I can't get everything together, I don't want it. I don't know if you're like that. Comment down below and let me know if you are. But if I have the taste for certain things to be together and they don't have what I want, it can be missing one thing. And I'm like, it throws it all off. I'm like, I don't want it. Forget it. I changed my mind. Comment down below and let me know if you want me to do a video in a restaurant. I have to really work myself up to do that. Like, I'm okay with recording it at home and I'm okay with um, recording in my car. But I'm very funny about recording in a restaurant. Like, you know, you're eating, you're talking to the camera, and then people looking at you like, what in the world is she doing? <laughs> I know people out there do it, but I have to get myself comfortable enough to do it. I also have a sweet tea, which is not so sweet. And I'm not saying that because I'm eating a parfait, which you know, sweet and sweet don't really go together. But before I even started eating the parfait, and I was sipping on my sweet tea, it wasn't that sweet. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. And hope everyone have a great day. Don't let anyone change the mood you're in if you're having a great day. Continue having a great day. Dismiss those who 
are not in your best interest, in your best interest at heart. Um, don't have your best interest at heart, shall I say. And just don't waste another second, another minute, another hour, another day on a negative person who does not better your mood, your day. Put you in a space that you are in, continue to be in, want to be in. And don't just put you in a better place. Hope everyone have a great day. Be blessed. Until next time, love you guys. Thanks. Bye.